is up guys, it's me, I'm back with another video today, something a bit different, we're going to be doing a podcast, and with me is Carmelo, Oi bro, and Oi, Kane, yeah. uh, I don't Hi. know where Beast is, I tried to get him in the party, he uh, just, yeah, yeah. I, I, hold on, I, I think he died, he, um, he might, you? if there's someone's mid-podcast, he's here, um, but today we're going to talk about some interesting topics, and, uh, Kate, uh, Doctor Disrespect. You start. Yeah. Let, let, okay. Let's talk about. Let's talk about Doc. Right. Mm -hmm. Kinda dumb. Yeah. I dumb. don't. <laughs> out for no reason. Like out of nowhere. Just the very, literally. Like there's no updates on it. He, like. Seems it's very interesting. Me his final I'll stream. Me like the f his literally his final stream before he got banned. It was like. Um, here, let me pull up Keemstar's Twitter, so he's saying. But, his yeah, final he... stream, right, he looked at his phone, and you could tell that he got a message he didn't want to see. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested yeah, yeah. to know what that message is, because obviously that has something to do with what's happening. Or maybe it was a message from Twitch saying you're going to be banned for no fucking reason. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but like, maybe Twitch just banned it for no reason. This guy on Twitter named Slasher saying that he knows the reason Doc got banned, while Doc's saying that Twitch hasn't given him a reason. Mm -hmm. So, there's multiple stories right now. Uh, I'm not, like, part of that, like, comment. I'm, I'm I like, I, I don't really update on news. We're doing a podcast. Uh, maybe yeah, I'll start doing, that. maybe I'll start, like, uploading videos like that. Uh, if you guys want to see that, tell me. I think that'd be yeah. kind of fun to do. Uh, update you guys on some drama. That guy took my head BB off. Alert. <laughs> BP alert. Actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's a drama alert. It's BP alert. Um, but yeah, tell BB. me if you guys what? like to see like a Let's news type thing. News. Let's get into the news. Let's get right into the news. Okay. Um. So. I had a bazooka. Don't. Okay. What are you guys? What? Are, what's your speculations on Doc? Until I that way we like don't just move off a, this and okay. it's short. So, okay, wait, wait, Carmelo, you go first. Why do you think he got banned? Um, I'm not sure. It was probably just, like, you know, because, you know, Alinity, she, like, messes with, with her cat, you know, fed, yeah. fed the cat Valka, and she didn't get banned. So I feel like it's just, like, you know, sexist. Probably is. I mean, we kind of know, know Twi how Twitch is when it comes down to that stuff. We it, we've seen literally Twitch had a or Twitch, Alinity had to beg herself to get banned, and she she still didn't get banned. She literally had to give herself a suspension, which is that's actually really sad. That like I, this okay Twitch might be easier to grow on. It might be a better streaming platform when it comes down to it. Overall, YouTube, you know. Yeah, okay, YouTube's more of a video platform, it's not really a streaming platform, but, I don't know, man, to, like, you can, you have to be very, 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 very cautious on what you do on Twitch. YouTube, okay, yeah, you have to delete the streams, and if you don't, you know, let's get into this topic. If you don't, if you don't, we see what happens with Shane Dawson. Let's just jump into this. A perfect way to move into topics here of not deleting videos you probably should have. Shane Dawson, uh, getting into some very big controversy still going on. Uh, actually, Keemstar uh, uploaded a drama alert today about Toddy's new video. Um, hey, shout out. I don't know. I, d I don't know what she's being accused of in this whole drama, but okay. What? Let's talk about. Let's okay. Let's talk about Shane Dawson, right? Um, mm -hmm. what he was doing. Well, okay, no, no, because it didn't really start with that. That like came. Yeah, 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 kind of yeah. came midway through all of this. Uh, let's go with like the first videos that popped up. Uh, of um, the first few videos of him talking to that 12 year old and some old tweets of his. Um, there was a tweet, for example, there was a tweet saying, made this 12. Oh, 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 um, I'm gonna have to 
Uh, I, I can continue if you want me to. Um, uh, podcast Itch. report, Kaya has had a heart attack. <laughs> um, might have to continue One of our members has a heart attack. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about that. So you had a heart attack. I, I did. It's I came back pretty quick though. No, um, there was an old tweet that came up of Shane Dawson. The, a tweet that Shane Dawson put out there. Uh, that said, uh, just made this 12 year old, or just made my 12 year old cousin give a disgusting act that is against Christ to a hot dog. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not you know good. That yeah, the grapefruit, if we want to call it that. The grapefruit technique, everyone. The grapefruit technique. I don't like this map. I um, hate <laughs> that, 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 hey, deep, that, that. <laughs> Yeah. Where we're going. The DT. The DT. We'll call it the, the DT. The, the DT, yeah, the DT. Oh, uh, to a hot dog? And the four letter. The four letter R. Um. <laughs> now, Kaden, you brought it up. Or actually, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Quick little thing before we get into it. Uh, the black face that he's done in the past. Uh, back then, might have been fine. Now, you know, it's, good, it, uh, it, it's gotten him it's into a bad spot. And the w the where the world is right now, that's just not a good thing to be brought up as we're seeing protests still going on to like this second. Uh, they're a lot more peaceful. Uh, but let's not get into that. Yeah, we probably well, should, but yeah. maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Um, can we have another segment? Uh, you know what? Segment. What, what, what do you want to say? Yeah. I want to know these family channels, right? They oh. will, oh, they will upload them. No, like the oh. ones that like talk about like all their pregnancy and they show their kid all like, yeah, basically. And like um, <laughs> and it's um, not like. Is that what the family channel no, it was like an actual okay, No, 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 we gotta let Carmelo continue though. This yeah, story. Yes. I'll, I'll take it. And they were like, not really good because I mean, I mean, they were okay. Don't get me wrong. But it's not nice to like, show your, your child's body parts to Facebook oh. or something. Because when they first get it out, they, they ask their, um, like, husband anything to take a picture of them. And they would sell, like, some families, I'm not gonna say all of them. But some of them will actually sell nude pictures to their fans, and that's just not nice, bro. Yeah, that's not right. nice. Yeah, we're we calling out some YouTube that creators that we're talking about some YouTube creators that are doing a bit extra for that money. Uh, yes. You know, and also I, I oh. wasn't recording the whole thing until like the very end. Like, suck ass. It's, it's all right. Uh, you haven't missed that much. Um, for yeah, come to me. Yeah, yeah. No, like that. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's really the whoa. I hate family channels, bro. They. Uh, I do too. I don't want. Okay. Really I, I don't want to say the whole Copa thing is because of them. I'm gonna say the whole Copa thing is because of them. You're putting your child out there immediately. It's these kids that are seven and under. You're putting them like while they're swimming and stuff on like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and your YouTube videos, and you're just giving free reign to all these yeah. weird okay. men and women. I want to say one thing. Yeah, I kind of forgot about not. the Copa or Copa thing, whatever. I think I it's out of place now. Yeah, like, I, 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 like, after, I kind of just forgot about it. And that's, it's, like, after January 1st, kind of just, you know. YouTube, I, mean, I don't know. YouTube Kids really doesn't help at all either. Because, yeah. like, they go over to yeah. YouTube Kids because they think it's a lot safer. I could download YouTube good. Kids on my phone right now and act like I'm an 80-year-old man. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, there should be a rule with the app store. It, you shouldn't be able to download it if you're an 80 year old man. Like, they, they, they should detect your age and they should, like, you know. You, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, you but they could just it. lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, it's. it's <laughs> I think everyone knows how easy it is to men put a fake date in. That's what I'm saying. Is It is way too easy to fake your age. Like, I could sign up for some website right now, and I could put 1999 as my birth year, even though we 
damn well know it's not, right? Yeah. But I can do it, because there's no detection saying that I can't. You know? It's like... Mm -hmm. I don't, there's, there's not really a good way to, like, implement that. But, come on, bro. You can do better. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Um, okay, Carmilla, you got anything? Because no. we still have... We still have a few things, oh, wow. um, one specific person. Like, you know, like oh, oh, dude, that one kid that earns ten million dollars a year. Ryan, I hate, bro, bro, How dude, <laughs> bro, I'm finna start unboxing toys, no cap. Ryan has his own TV show on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. I'm about to start unboxing toys, bro. He like, actually, this man has his own serial and video game. That's what I'm saying. Your a toy line too. A, a toy line house. too. I feel bad because I. <laughs> there's no way he's a hundred percent doing that by his will. He is. A, I like, feel bad for Ryan. There's like, no way he's just like willing to just do all of this. Like, like put himself that there, much out there at they're, how young of he is. Oh, a hundred percent. This is what I'm saying, bro. Is these channels aren't okay? They're not. They're they're just not okay. Like, they, these are, these, some of these channels, and we're talking about one right now, there's no way the kid, the kid doesn't understand, bro. How much do you think he actually kept out of, he, what, so last, what, 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 last year he got like, what, 24 million dollars or something like that? Yeah. Bro, he, I guarantee he didn't even keep a million dollars of that. He, no, he didn't, no way he did, like, his parents literally are, like, he, there, he, there's no way he is doing that 100% by him, like, by his will. I, you can't, you can't tell me otherwise, bro. There's nothing that yeah. you can do to change my mind to make me say, oh, he's doing that by himself. Cause he's not. There's no, he, he's not, bro. I guarantee he didn't see a, fr he didn't see one tenth of that twenty-four million dollars. Yeah. I guarantee it. And like, it's sad, bro. Like you're putting your kid in this position at such a young age, right? Like he, what? He's seven, six, like six, seven, eight. Something like around there. Act happy on this TV show and have like these. Because I've watched like one whole episode because I was actually interested. And there's like these like, these like play dates, these playtime things, and I he he's happy, but the parents are forcing him to look happy so they can get money and get. The money. Bro, it's back. it's sad. It's happening. And it's it, sad that like, they're forcing him to do this. See, what I feel bad about is he. he, he <laughs> He's putting, he's, there's way too much about him at this young of an age. It's just not healthy for anyone in that situation. Uh, I don't, people probably don't look that much into it because they're like, oh yeah, he's having fun. He's a kid, he has all this stuff. But bro, no, what, like, it comes they're down to it. To do it. But like, look at, like, how much, I mean, obviously his parents are doing all the business management, like all that stuff. Like, yeah, a seven year old's not doing all that, right? But like, bro, he's being put in this business position already, and like, yeah. by the time he's like, in his like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, he's like, he probably doesn't even he, want to do that anymore. He's, I guarantee, like, he's not into that type of stuff anymore. Like, we all been in that spot where, like, as, as a kid, that it's that that we're like, oh yeah, we like one thing one minute, the next yeah, we just like, don't. And then yeah. Like it's like we grow out of stuff, bro. He's yeah. gonna grow out of toys, and what are you gonna do then? Cause like, he, okay. we've all done it. We all have. We all know it's coming. We like, you know, like okay, we all like sure we play with like action figures and stuff now, but yeah, but we're gonna. He's in like four years. He's not gonna be like. He's not gonna like that stuff anymore. He's gonna like more mature toys, like game, like video games, like. They, you know, like going out with, like, hang yeah. out with his friends and stuff. You not know, hey, looking like, not like retarded. Not <laughs> some seven year old kid that's being forced to unbox toys and, like, being shoved into a business position at this young of an age. And, like, he doesn't understand yeah. any of it, bro. He, like, right now, okay, he's probably having fun. He probably is having fun, like, with all the toys and stuff, right? But mm -hmm. he's soon. I don't know how soon, but like I feel like very, very soon he's gonna realize like, yo, this isn't like, 
he's gonna yeah, start understanding the, yeah. that his parents are like, you know, when he's he, what are what are his parents gonna do when he's out of that toy stage? They're probably gonna be yeah. dead by the time. Honestly, I'm like, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything, but and plus, like, I, I mean, mean, his parents, his are young, dad, bro. they're they're already gonna have enough money by the time he grows out of it. Probably, honestly. So they, they he I really hope they have like a savings account or something for him and they're putting I, I just, money and to that. Like spending it. Yeah, cause that way like when it cut like when he turns eighteen, like he's made twenty he made twenty four million dollars last year. When he turns eighteen, he could literally buy a mansion. He could, but they're not giving him any money. Are they? I, I, probably not right now. They're probably investing it like into the channel and stuff, but like. When he t they there better be a savings account for him. The way, when he turns eighteen, he can take money out of it and buy like a house and all that. That way he's yeah, like yeah, somewhat yeah. set for you know. Oh, like he, stop. he has so many subs now, right? Mm -hmm. When he gets older, they're not gonna be able to upload the same content. But well, when he gets he's older, he's probably gonna honestly. Point. He's probably he might just rebrand, like. His whole that whole channel, which wouldn't really surprise me. I mean, you know, that's rightfully his. Yeah. But, yeah. No. Um. Might just delete everything, change the name, change the banner, change everything, and make it like a gaming channel or something. Oh, well, like, I want to talk about those, those creepy, like toy review channels that do like that. Are these like fifty-year-old, forty-year-old men? And women unboxing stuff that unbox toys but don't show their face, they only show their hands, and they like. Ooh, I understand why the toys and kids like toys, but like it's kind of creepy, you know? I mean, I get it though. You have to th like look at Stargirl Souls. He doesn't show his face, yeah. no one knows what he looks like. It's to hide his identity, so when he goes out in public, he doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't get noticed all the time, and people don't walk I mean, up to him. That way he can see his eyes. He might that, get noticed yeah, his but eyes. like. No one's gonna pay that much attention, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like yeah. when you're in public, you're not deathly staring into someone's eyes. You know. Yeah, unless you're a fucking pedophile and you're trying to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Dan Schneider. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about We Bear Bears the movie. It. The movie. Yeah. Have you, there's like a movie coming out and shit. Like, in oh shit. Cool. You you heard of that for right? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually lit. It yeah, like, it's a... I mean, there, it was like season three and season four, which makes no sense because season one it, they kind of started off in season three. Yeah. You know what? What's not with that slide? Going to let it slide. Cut real smooth. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go down to- okay, wait, wait. Okay, let's not ignore it. Uh, we kind of skipped over it. Uh, sh how about Shane Dawson, the more pedo stuff? We kind of touched on it oh. a bit, but like, how about we go into the Smith family drama that's yeah. going on with them? So. Uh, Kate, you originally brought it up, so if you would like to start on yeah, this topic, I'll let you start on it. like to start on the topic, so, um... There, there was a picture. When was the picture like released? Like it was like 2012 old? or something like that. Yeah. Um. A picture of Shane Dawson. Uh, Shane Dawson. <laughs> it was Shane a picture. It was a video of Shane Dawson yeah. acting like he's doing things. Um. A picture of um. It was Willow Smith's Smith. Daughter. Yeah. yeah uh, when she was and on Nickelodeon and, and Young. Oh, I, you, can you blame him though? Like, no, bro, that's no, his so sister. That's his sister, yeah. I, w I would be mad too, honestly. Bro, like, you like, have to, you have to, you have really have to appreciate him for that though. Like, he really mm -hmm. stuck up for his sister that much. And Which I feel like any, else. like, good brother would be like. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jada Smith, uh, Will Smith's wife, stood mm -hmm. up. Uh, she called out Shane mm -hmm. Dawson. I'm done with the excuses. Uh, or like no more and excuses or whatever. He's basically cancelled. Yeah. He's he's yeah. lost a lot of subs. Uh yeah. it's not Honestly, only I wasn't that, even subscribed though. to him, so I wasn't like either. No, I I really only like the documentaries. Um not gonna watch anymore. But mm, yeah. Honestly I really didn't even like him in the first place. 
Now. And today was the first day on Drama Lord that I heard his voice. And I was like, what in the fuck? <laughs> like, I, cause this is the first time I've ever heard his voice. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay. EG 13, bro. Okay, they're mine. There you go. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, <laughs> click off. There we go. Um, he's not losing jumps for that only reason. I mean, that's the bigger reason. Um, last year, and game Charles um, was can was like getting canceled. canceled. Um, yeah, getting canceled for something. I th what people like are sure of now. I just went thirty-five and nineteen. Minors, it wasn't anywhere close minors. to that. That was change. We're not talking. We're not talking about change Dawson anymore. Okay. Oh, oh, um. He got exposed for like trying to like make a straight kid like do stuff with him or whatever uh, yeah, <laughs> something yeah. like that um kind of gross you know considering you know yeah um he got exposed for that he bounced back but some people toddy <laughs> blew a bit of ex or perspective pers you know uh, yeah, 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 that yeah, word i, I don't <sighs> it was serious but I think when it came down to it, the the kid got exposed and like it didn't actually happen, and they were they were just trying to like feed off a cloud because Toddy started losing subs, James Charles started gaining some back. Um, supposedly, Shane Dawson and Jeffrey Star are now getting canceled together. Shane Dawson getting canceled for more reasons, but uh, it's actually Jeff. No, no, no. Before we continue on this topic. How about we talk about what Jeffree Star's done in his past? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Wait, made before we do anything with Jeffree Star, I just wanna... Yeah. Like, Shane Dawson books have been pulled off like shelves, and his makeup has been pulled off everywhere, and it's... Yeah. People don't know if it's been pulled out or sold out, though. I'm pretty sure most of it, like, the rest that was left was pulled out. Like, yeah, everything. I mean, I'd assume so, but... Yeah, cause like, yeah. I didn't even know there was a Shane Dawson book. <laughs> I didn't either. Yeah, thank um, you, Star, for letting me know that information. But I'll, I'll read it. Oh wait, Jeffrey Jeffrey Star had to make a tweet uh, not too long ago. It wasn't like a uh, month, a month and a half ago, probably. Um, he had to make a tweet that way his past didn't get brought up and he got canceled for it. Uh, he took actions into his own hands. Mm -hmm. Uh, stepped up to what he's done in the past, which honestly, power move, bro. Like, you do, like, at least you're stepping up for what you've done and you're not, like, denying it like some other people. I'm not gonna say Shane Dawson is, because he's accepting the fact that he's done this. He's not, like, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't. I promise, you know. No, he, he's saying that he did this, and, yeah. Um, but, when it comes down, when it really comes down to it, uh, Jeffrey Star made a tweet bringing up his past and some questionable post about um, some Nazi things. Uh, vidding that we're talking that I just said Nazi considering World War Two, you know, World War Two and that. Um, that one guy. But it's a bad thing. Bad thing. A horrible thing that happened. You know, millions upon millions of people affected by it. Uh, the survivors. Um, Still, some survivors still alive to tell their stories and uh, have to kind of relive that past, like the traumatic ap is, um, experience that they must have had, and like the impact that they must have left on them. Like, you know, is traumatic. You know, you, 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 you know. But um, Jeffrey Star um had to make a tweet bringing up his past about some of that stuff and some other stuff. Um. He did that, he stepped up about it. He didn't, he got cancelled, like, he lost, like, a hundred, he didn't even, it, the Social Blade said he lost a hundred K, he only lost about thirty K, cause Social Blade, like, rounds up, or, like, it round, it, like, it round, like, it, it has a weird system to it, that's not accurate at all, um, but, um, so he got, he, he, he did that. But now he's actually getting cancelled properly for being, for supposedly being a mastermind on the Jeffrey, Jeffrey, of the James Charles controversy, um, that happened last year. Uh, him and Shane Dawson both getting cancelled, 
um, from it. Um, it's sad, man. It is, you know, like mm -hmm. that you <sighs> you kind of just that like who you called a friend, you just stabbed him in the back like that. That's actually disgusting. Like that yeah. genuinely is that. That's sad that you just stabbed what you called a best friend in the back like that. And you like you knew they never stepped up about it. They, like you know, uh, they're still denying that they were a mastermind about it. It it, it really like who you if you're like you called that you know a friend and then you're just gonna go around like stabbing him in the back like that. That's not cool, bro. Like that that genuinely isn't. I don't vibe with that at all. Hey, you 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 can't call someone your friend and then be a mastermind behind their cancellation. That is messed up on a different level. That is his whole career gone. I don't think they understand the impact that that had. That literally could have destroyed his whole career there. Like, that's his palate and everything gone. Like, his palate just... He, he was earning millions off of that, bro. And people were just destroying it and doing all this other stuff and... Bro, his whole career was almost gone in three seconds. Because of, like, in probably 24 hours, everything could have been gone of his. And at his age, it had more of an impact, because he's young, bro. What, he's like 20 or something like that? Like, teen, 20? He's young, bro. That he's, he's still very young. He has a long life to live ahead of him. And that, like, he has a good career. How young he is... Who knows what ha what kind of impact that would have had in his future if that actually if he got fully canceled, lost pretty much all of his subscribers and you know like millions of dollars gone because his so-called friends were behind a cancellation of him. Bro, it's like <sighs> I saw this TikTok that like it was it was funny but like it was like um. People say video games don't teach you anything, and it was this guy that was like, um, pretty much, like, pretty much, like, um, I don't know if you want to call them quotes, I wouldn't say it's a quote, um, but he was like, saying what video games have taught people, and like, um, there was like some scenes from campaigns and stuff of like, uh, don't fully trust people, like, the people you trust might stab you in the back. I'm like, this is a perfect example of it. Well, like, we've seen that so far, and yeah. I'll let you guys put input. I've been talking too long in my mouth, sorry. Uh, I kind of want to talk about the fact that I don't know if this is like recent, but like, what was he getting like arrested maybe for like seven? Well, here's almost got hit by a train. Someone help me. Yeah. I pretend so. the train is Shane Dawson and I run. <laughs> oh, I should run into it and get the shit out of it. I think he's the only gay man I know with a beard besides Hamlin. Hamlin. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, sure. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but. <laughs> you know what, though. It's, it's just weird, man. Like, some people. Um. It really does teach you. You have to be careful who you put yourself around. Yeah. Um, like if you put yeah, yourself around like food. bad people, well then you're gonna be like bad. Uh, if you put yourself around. Is that recent? Like, does anyone know? I don't know how recent that is. Oh, can can we talk about the the global? Pandemic, you know. No, we can't. We're so not allowed to talk about that. No, 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 Shane Dawson's career, I have nothing to say now. I literally have nothing to say at this point. Um. After the damage Shane Dawson's career has after what you just said. I mean, like, it's. I, mean, I don't know. This won't blow up, I guarantee it. I don't know how many views this will give. If it blows up, cool. I just said my opinion on something. If you guys have a different opinion, let me know. But, like, 
That's not. It's just not right. It just isn't. It literally just isn't. Like, mm -hmm. um, any Me Too movements. I don't want to get too in depth because it's a very sensitive topic. Shout out to anyone that has put their story out there. You are. I feel like you are now you deserve one. a. It's hard to tell what what's fake and what's not, but like, but it, it, even if they're Mila fake. Got called out for Bro, any big what? YouTubers going to, bro, it don't matter. No one's safe from it. I'm gonna get called out for one after this. I can't. <laughs> On, bro, honestly, I, I probably am gonna get called out. It's probably gonna become true because, well, I think everyone knows me. But, um. Number. Um. Okay. We're gonna talk about the offline TV drama. I don't know if you guys have. Do you guys have you guys been caught up at all on any of this, Kate? I know you haven't. You've been camping, so you've kind of yeah. have had an internet. Well, I mean, I had internet, but like I don't really don't keep up with most of that. Kind of okay. Stuff, so um, I'm, I didn't know. I did. This has been in the making for like two days, I guess. So we're a bit late, just a bit. Okay. But I still want to talk about this because it. This really shows you don't trust everyone you see online. Don't like. Don't trust me when it comes down to it, cause like, I put my, I have a persona around myself right now. I might be completely different. Kate, okay, no, no, no. You guys, you guys have both known me for a while. Kate, you've almost known me for a year. Carmelo, you've known me for like a year and a half, right? Yes. Am I really that different? <laughs> like, as as no. yourself, you can't tell if you're that different recording and streaming and like putting yourself online than yeah. when you're not. I mean, rage-wise, 100%. But, like, yeah. I rage way more when I'm not streaming. <laughs> I want to talk about, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, okay, fine. I just won't finish what I was... <laughs> <laughs> you can finish what you're saying. I was like, don't get money, okay? So, okay, have, every, have e either of you ever heard of the streamer Fedmeister? Like, ever? No. no. In association with Pokimane? Mm -hmm. No, never? Maybe. Okay, Maybe. Um, Maybe a bit. Pokemon, yeah, I've watched. I've kind of kept up with it a bit. Okay. Yes, Pokemon. So, let's talk about what's happening here. Ben Meister's been called out by three girls in offline TV. Um, Yvonne, Lily, Pichu, and Pokemon. All three pretty big names. I think yes. the smallest is Yvonne, and she still averages, what, like 10k viewers on Twitch? Something around there? So her being the smallest out of the but her her or Lily being the smallest with like ten like an average of like ten k viewers, still is crazy. Yeah. But um, uh, Fedmeister has been called out by all three of them for her um uh s three x wool assault or harassment one of the two. What I, what, same, it's pretty much the exact same thing to, when it comes down to it, but um, mm -hmm. being called out for it on Pokemon. Um, Poke it's not really like as much of that. It's more manipulation on what he said to other people. Um, about Pokemon. Uh, the, whenever they go to like TwitchCon or like other events like that, supposedly he'll like when a guy like Pokemon wants to talk to a guy with like friend level more than that, whatever. Supposedly Fedmeister um, doesn't agree with it. He he says Poke that he's dating Pokemon so that the guy doesn't. You know, now it, this also, this probably isn't our place to talk about it. They made it public. Don't be mad at me. There's mil there's thousands of people talking about it on Twitter, and it's all over Nick Reddit. So I don't know. Oh, no. he, he talked to her when the Travis event was happening. But um, mm -hmm. kind of it's kind of weird, you know, like um, he, yeah, supposedly touched up on Yvonne a bit. Uh, same with Lily. Uh, he's now kicked out of offline TV. Uh, since that, and since then, um, now there is someone. Uh, I am not even trying to pronounce his Twitch name. His, if you guys know that group of people, then you'll know Mo. Uh, I'm not gonna try to. It's like Yao So you so I don't know. I even try to pronounce it. Um, but. Um, 
he came out with a statement on it, because supposedly him and Fed were really good friends. But Fed kind of broke bro code supposedly a bit. Um, with, oh, he 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 said he he took this whole situation that's going on with like him and like Pokemon and uh, that group of girls. Out of, like he he. He turned, made it seem like it wasn't anything serious, and they were over reacting. And the sad part about it is, is a lot of his fans and stuff are defending him because he is making it seem a lot smaller than it actually is, even though this is a very serious topic. Um, you know, especially now with this whole hashtag Me Too movement getting pulled out, like, you know, um, it's a left right center. People are getting called out. Some of these stories true, some not. You know. Um. But. Um. He supposedly manipulated him and did some messed up stuff to him. And yeah. Um, never break bro code. That is not, that is disrespectful on a completely different level. You yeah you almost did. I almost did, but Kaya saved me. Impaler did. Um, and, yeah, he, 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 bro, he, if, if someone yeah, breaks bro code, friends. they don't deserve a second chance. No. So that's why we're not friends with them anymore. And the goo, like, see, the, the gulag, you get a second chance, right? Nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, bro code's but, a different level. bro code, no second chances. Yeah, nah, that's sad. And if you want to know how I broke bro code, um, should we tell the story? Uh, yeah, you go right, cause I can't remember, so. <laughs> I, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, you can't remember? Okay. So, um, he, he FaceTimed me one day and said he was going to hang out with his girlfriend for two days. Oh, we're talking about and how also, Impaler did it. Oh. Yeah, how Impaler broke up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And, um, I know how. The so, and then he joined a party later that day saying he was going to hang out with his girlfriend for two days. And, well, we kind of allowed it. We <laughs> that night we were like, okay, wait, 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 wait. You're you're leaving for two days to to go hang out with your girlfriend, right? Even though you have any time of the day to do this. And like, also, why can't you bring? Her, why can't why can't she come to your house? Or why can't you like, FaceTime her? Yeah, like, cause <laughs> you know, he he did his school, right? He was he was doing his online schooling, but like, bro, don't get on. Talk to her for a bit, bro. Like, I mean, I get it, right? But like, what the 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 part about it that's sus is when we questioned him. Like, we were like, okay, so you left for two days. You hung out with your girlfriend. We, we mm. don't have uploads. We, we need to start recording videos. Yeah, yeah we were. Uploading and he was like, oh, uh, uh, I wasn't with my girlfriend. He started switching his story up real quick. Then he went back oh, to the girlfriend thing. Oh, and then he went back oh. to. He wasn't hanging out. It was just he kept switching his stories. He he didn't believe himself. <laughs> it, it was just. I fucking love it, dude. I fucking love it. Bro, he's like he lies. Is like the way he lies is so funny. <sighs> Man, it was. He's so dumb. Cause like he didn't even know what to say, bro. So what was he doing? He said he went. He just went somewhere for two days. Like, Where could you have gone for two days? You went somewhere for two days when, like, <sighs> you, but, like. What did you go to Walmart? He's not me. But like, like <sighs> it was a weird. Like, there was no attempt. Like, there was no like. Oh, I might be back sooner. I might be back later. Like, there was. He never messaged us. <laughs> but like, he kept switching his story. Like, he never was there. And, he said my girlfriend broke up with me and I'm like, okay. Yeah. He did? So uh, yeah. Like a week later like, oh my girlfriend broke up with me and he was like sad. I was like, okay, alright, imaginary girlfriend had us. I don't weird, believe man. that he has a girlfriend. I still to this day don't believe that he has a girlfriend. And he sent me that snap. You remember in December? Or it was like November, December, whenever. When he sent me that snap of his girlfriend, I don't believe it. Or you never saw that. No, you were in the party. You were in the party. He sent oh. me her Snapchat. And I was like, oh, this is like some random girl you found in a group chat. Like, the, it's not her. It probably is. It's... I still feel that, like... I don't know, man. I mean, he's he posted to, like, TikToks with, with a girl. But, like... Bro, that's... That's like, not her. He literally told me that was some random girl he met. 
And it's it's weird, man. Some people just <laughs> like if you're gonna say something, keep with that story at least. He don't switch up your story, cause once you start switching up your story, you're caught, bro. Like don't flip the switch, okay, buddy? Listen here, just, just keep it, just keep how it is, right? Yeah. And I'm very interested to know where he went if he didn't go to his girlfriend, cause I know he has an imaginary girlfriend had ass. Um, but yeah, um, that was so, a weird situation. Um. <sighs> How about we talk about oh. our clan wise? Carmelo, you you I'm gonna catch you up, Cade. Carmelo, you're not even in the clan, but you know yeah. ten times more than Cade knows. <laughs> yeah. Over what's happened during the past so however gone. long. I mean I watched like half of your stream, but I was like, okay, I wanna go see Um time. So uh BP clan. We've expanded a lot for the people that haven't noticed. Um you, we have like seven new ass. members. You're at 85 subscribers. Good job for y'all. Yes, yeah, sure. I have gained yeah. 10 subs in the past like three yeah, days. I've gained 30. <laughs> I've gained. Yeah, yeah, it's it's our grind, man. Um, I'm gonna be streaming a lot. I'm gonna stream Fortnite trials every single day. Just sub, so tune into their streams. Time. You are a recruiter, so. Yeah, I'll do anything to help you plan. Um, we have seven new members. And, um, me and Beast being, oh, Cade, me, we, me and Beast, like, were mad at each other one night in World War Two because, like, we just, we, it was, it was a long situation, he was like, you know, I'm gonna do this, and I was like, uh, I think I was, I, I, my, oh, I don't know, really but, um, I was like, you know what, you know what, you, you know what, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna make myself the owner of BP, <laughs> so I am now the owner, Beast is now the co-clan owner. <laughs> the co owner. <laughs> so, um. I, it's my Discord. I made the Discord, bro. I made the Discords. Which means I am the owner of the Discord server, so I can literally kick anyone out that I want. No, we have eight new what? members. Seven or eight. Um. That's funny as fuck, bro. That is you literally the owner because of that knife. I mean, he's still co clan owner. And he's so, uh, he's been streaming a lot on Twitch. It is BP Abu on Twitch. Go watch his streams because he does tryouts too. Um, I think we're also going to be starting doing some trick. All right, we have a shirt shot team. We're going to start um, doing some tryouts for there, considering we have found a bug in the game to help us with that. Oh, yes. And we have a map. Uh, exactly. So for a anyone that wants to join the trick shot team, uh, tune into a stream saying you want to join that. Um, clans open for any, any, in console, PC, Xbox, Switch, mobile. But if you're, um, if you're like a language you don't understand, you might not be able You have to be English. Sure. That's the only, that's the English. only exception. Not, not being racist, I love Indians, I, I love Chinese people. As long as you can speak fluent English. Yeah, so we If you can like speak English fluently, you're, you're good. Because if you're like, blah, 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 we're like, well, okay, well, we don't know what you're saying, so you're good. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you send me an invite to uh, World War II? Uh, What's yeah, when I get out of this match. Game, we could sort of yes. team, we're starting, uh, well, we have Paladins, but me and Beast have been yeah. talking about a COD team. I don't have Paladins, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's fine. But me and Beast have been That's talking fun. about a COD team a bit here mm -hmm. and there. Uh, we don't know if we're actually gonna do that, but we, me and Beast, are actively trying to find a squad, which we might have found one. Um, we might have found one. Uh, we want to start doing clan wars. We, we've been talking a bit about clan wars, which, uh, if we're, I, uh, um, clan wars have changed a lot since like I last watched them on Fortnite, before like creative and playground and stuff, clan wars where you go into a public match, you find each other, if they're still the same, tell me, I I guess I gotta watch a YouTube video later, um, but we're, we want to start reaching out into that part, we just need to find a squad out of BP, um, so if you think you're good enough, if you're good in Publix, and like, you, like you're not just a creative warrior, cause I'm not gonna lie, we, we, <laughs> have a few creative warriors, not gonna name any names, you kinda know who you are, um, have a few of those, um, but we need a f if you are good, if you can communicate good in squads, tell us, cause like, we, we, we're trying to actively find a squad for clan wars, so we can do 4v4 clan wars, or 3v3s, uh, for duos, it'd be me and B, sorry for anyone that wants to team up with me, like, yeah, 
Uh, me and Beast are uh, we used to play arena duos back in the day. Like uh, we we could win back to back to back to back to back matches without a problem. Our communication was like literally on point. Um, so duos is not yeah. Um, but yeah, we're thinking about doing clan wars. Um, so if you're in a clan that's okay. interested in join in doing one with us, tell us. Uh, we'll get a squad set and go ready, and we can start doing it. How about TSM? Okay. Nah, dude, fuck that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, no. If we go against TSM, nah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. deleting Bye. Fortnite. I'm, to TSM. I'm deleting no, Fortnite. I'm literally going to TSM. Deleting if I Fortnite. Ever get in if I ever get May in I with them, come in to something? First of all, Cade, right. first of all, you have to. You, you, you're not an owner. <laughs> you're not even <laughs> third in <laughs> command. I said you're going to lose a clan member. Oh. oh. <laughs> May I say something real quick? Yeah. For. <laughs> for the first person, um, like the newest people that just joined, they were in a other clan, TBM. Yes. Um, yes. maybe ask ask them when y'all guys are ready. We can do a clan war. Sure. Now, uh, we played squads with them. Um, it was it was like 4:30, and everyone was me, Beast, and them were tired that night. So like, I don't blame. We we pretty much died off spawn. But uh, Misty Meadows is not the smart strongest place to land that match. But they're, bro, they're yeah. so, they're cool, bro. Like they're they're really chill, fun people to be around. Yeah. They're, they're funny. Um, we've we've had hilarious zone wars moments. Carmela, you, how, how you, I don't think you've been in one of the zone wars lobbies. They're zone they're wars hilarious to be in. Zone wars. It they, it is hilarious, dude. Like we we don't like every single round. It's just us laughing. You you need, well, you we'll invite you next time. We do it. Cade will invite you too. You'll like them. They're funny. Okay, what happens if I just you're out of VP too bad for you. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do after that? You gonna... Uh, I don't know. Why would I care? I'm gonna go, uh, um... <laughs> you're really <laughs> Not to be rude, but you're kinda just a member. <laughs> so why am I here again? I'm not even good because you're in the what, is, what was the point of me being here? No, you made it in because you're good at Fortnite. I mean, you're probably you probably suck now because you've been gone for how long? But like, I got for five days. Oh, wait, I was actually good at Fortnite. What are you talking about? I dude? mean, you were decent. Wait, how about it? I no, I need no no no. You need you need to start. You need one v one some of our new members because like I'm That's sorry, but like honestly, if you one v one some of our new members, you'd get you'd get touched, bro. Wow. Like you, you one v one psycho. You one v one psycho. You're dead. I don't want to. I don't want to one v one. Bro, dog. kid, kid psycho. Dog. Carmelo, call, you explain. And, and, bro, explain psycho to him. Just, we just call him the dog. Yeah, he, he's, he's a nasty player. Disgusting yeah, dude. I don't, don't want to get touched in my no no score. Oh no, you'll get touched by literally any of our new members. And yeah, so I'm, Be I'm not. Beast hates, bro. Beast like complains every time we do a tryout. Cause like, they all, we, me and everyone we've tried out has the exact same playstyle. And Beast is like, bro, I hate it. Everyone's just a fake. <laughs> And like I, I can't do anything against it, bro. Like I don't know how to play against myself. Like imagine me versus myself. Like a one v one against myself, right? Bro, what am I that supposed would be to do? Weird, but what, what am I supposed to do? What am I like, bro? Just tune into what? Like next time we're doing trials, which will be later tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Just, just be there, and you, 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 dude. I get touched, bro. Cause like it's these kids. <sighs> I don't want to sound rude. But it's these kids that uh, I don't know how to say this nicely. Um, they watch a bit too much of sw face way. Just a bit, you know. They're <laughs> just a bit. You know, they had got their high ground retakes going on, and yeah. Oh wait, I just thought of something that might be the most cancerous shit ever. What? TSM phase. <laughs> oh no. Oh, See, no. here's, oh, I'm, I need to talk to Beast about this before I just, like, go on, like, before I, because, like, Beast is the co-clan leader, so, like, before I just make a decision, you know, I, like, you know, uh, kind of have to talk to him about it, but, I need to ask him, because, like, 
I'm not gonna lie, everyone we've tried out so far is a creative warrior. Like, there's no other way of putting it. They only do box fights in 1v1s. I'm sorry. It's the truth, right? But, like, you know, uh, I want to 1v1 them. Just because we need to stick to that. But, we need, we need to do a thing in squads. Because, it's stupid, bro. Like, I don't want to have all these creative warriors in my team. Like, in our team. It's just not fun, bro. Like, see, kid, you're not... They... Okay, no, no, here's... Okay, when I say you're good at Fortnite, you suck at creative. You can't win yeah. a 1v1 to save your life, bro. Like, if your life yeah. depended on it, you'd be dead. But when it comes to... You're actually good. Like, you understand public matches. Like, you you understand the actual no, game. Which, which, honestly, that's, that's good, more... Right? That is more important to understand the actual game than just creative. So what I want to start doing is instead of just having these stupid creative warriors in our team, I want to start get, um, 1v1 them. If they do good, if they win in the 1v1s, how we are recruit or how we're recruiting people now is it's four 1v1s, two against me, two against Beast. If you win in those, we take you to a squad match. That's how it's gonna go. Cause I, I should actually do that. Yeah, that's it, smart. That's smart. I okay, hate okay. it, bro. I actually hate it. Cause I, if we're gonna do, if we're gonna do. Clan Wars, if we're gonna do 4v4 Clan Wars and like 3v3 Clan Wars, I don't want that other person to only know how to build in creative. You have infinite mats and infinite ammo. When it comes down to an actual match, you don't have any of that. You have, you run out of ammo, you run out of mats. You have to take a lot more into consideration than you do in creative. Or like, if you... Let me, but dude, it pisses me off, bro. Like, I feel, I feel so bad. Like, yeah, it just installed. But like, <laughs> I feel bad to the like for the people that like cycle. You're sick and creative, and I have a feeling you're sick in in online, like in pubs, cause like he, he his aim is part like his aim's good. Like you can tell that in one v ones how a person's aim is. You but you can't tell how their fighting is. That's like the only real problem with doing like only creative one v one like creative tryouts. Yeah. Um, so wait. Uh, what? The podcast I might never be uploaded on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna upload mine. I don't know, I'm gonna all right. all right, that's it, folks. Thank you right. for tuning in. To Maybe, our, yeah, that, that's all, folks. Thank um, you for tuning in to this podcast. No one's yeah, don't. With the fucking, if you're talking. if you're a creative warrior, don't try out. I'm gonna start saying that. Like honestly, like before I do a tryout, I'm gonna be like, "Are you a creative warrior?" Straight up, because if you, yes, if you are, I'm. Them. If you I'm are, I'll lie. one I'll one v one you, but like. Honestly, if you if I'm gonna ask that question, and if you say yes, I'm gonna ask how you do in squads, squads and duos, yeah. squads, duos and trios. Cause if you don't do good in any of those, you're, I'm sorry, I'm not wasting my time one v one you, cause I don't want a creative warrior on the team. I don't want some. I don't. An arena duo should be a mode that's just there for one time. It should be. That'd be beautiful. Oh, no, cause like, team. it's there, good no, Fortnite. Okay, I need, bro. I need to find a Discord server. Um. That do like customs, uh, like squad customs and like trio customs and duo customs, you know. That way, like we can like, you know, uh, we can kind of do a bit more of the competitive side of the game, because we only we can only do solos and trios. And I'm sorry that, <laughs> well, we're only well, me and Beast can only try out one person in at a time. Yeah. Like no, which I mean. Aren't, that's kind of smart, cause like, yeah, it it makes sense if we could like try out one person at a time. But like, if we're, you know, like if you wanna, if I don't, I don't know, what I'm trying to say here, but like, you need to be good in all. Like, you can't just be good in creative and join. Like, it, it it's just stupid, bro. Cause like, we're, we're taking chances on you to be honest. Like we are, we're we're genuinely just taking chances on you. Hit or miss, basically. Hit or miss. Like, 
into it, bro. You could be a busted contract, bro. You could literally be one of like you could, you can be sick and creative. That doesn't mean you're sick in pubs. It's two completely different modes with two completely different. I don't want to say physics, but physics. If, you know, cause like, bro, infinite yeah. match, infinite ammo. Completely different in online. It's just I, I don't know, but like. Uh, you guys got any more interesting topics we can talk about before we end this off? Or? Actually, have you guys, um, how about, oh, the, how about, <laughs> I wish, dude, I wish, one day, one day, one day, one day, but, uh, how about, before we end this, how about the drama with YouTubers going on, that is, uh, fans showing up to their houses? Oh yeah, that's really oof. It's over it. <sighs> it, it really is sad. Oh no. Or um okay. How about this, right? Like I don't know. Um just don't show up to people's houses, bro. Like that's weird. Or like, how about, okay, fan, but there's these YouTubers that I watch, shout out to Zane and Heath, Unfiltered Podcast, love it. Shout out to Zane again. Um, 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 so they, they, like a month ago, like on this podcast, Zane and his roommate Matt King talked about uh, an incident that they said happened like a month or something ago. Um, about some guy uh, showing up to their house, breaking in, like went through the side gate, everything, right? Uh, broke in through their back door. He, they stole Zane's uh, car keys. He has a Lamborghini Urus. So, but they didn't steal the car. Just the keys. Or the keys were like moved and like they were disconnected from like the app that Zane has to track his keys and stuff, right? Um, but this guy took a, a, you know those, like, fly zappers that are, like, are, like, are, like electric and, like, you know? Yeah. 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 He yeah. stole one from, in what they think, is they think it, it was a fan that, because, uh, like, two days before, Zane had posted on his Instagram story of him using that flash water. Yeah, but that guy was retarded. He didn't like the police are like I guess they were trying to find him. But, like, um, uh, he didn't have any gloves on. <laughs> rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Absolute rookie mistake. Not wearing gloves. You know, you got fingerprints everywhere. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Final thing. Okay, final story this time, right? We're gonna end after this. Do you guys got any like crazy stories that have happened? Like, oh, in, the, yes, I in your oh, lifetime, um, over this weekend, oh, okay. like, okay. week, whatever. Yeah, Come on, uh, you got um, anything? I have Wait, one. Wait, here, here, yeah, I'll let you go. So I, I have a good one. Um, this story actually took place. It's a Karen, okay, Karen. Oh. Karen's, oh, this is gonna be good at getting in my popcorn. This so, okay, keep we... My mom, right? Um, yeah. We were just relaxing at a store, right? Just doing our own stuff. Since we're Mexican. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I knew this about you. Karen. It's fine. She kind of, you know, didn't like Mexicans. You know, there's racism. Oh, she's people. a Trump, okay. Ah, oh, she's a Trump supporter, okay. Fuck Trump. Um. If you if you should support Trump, unsub would do, like do anything to never please see unsub. me again. Because I honestly channel, hope you die Trump, in a fire. Unsub, you could I honestly die, die in you get white shot supremacist by. piece of. Oh, dude, did you miss what happened in the Discord server? With I okay, wait, Carmela, you continue, continue. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, so no, it's alright. Um, so she basically walked up to us. We're inside of of a Target, save you, Texas, sorry. Fort Worth. Hey, Texas. Yeah. I love Target. Fort <laughs> and I was looking for a uh, un product. It, it was it was a toy. I okay. I can't. Okay, bro.